Okay, so on our workstation, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script for every user when they log in in the Fenimore area, or we can apply this to any OU based on a department, or if you're in a school environment based on lab, you have this VB script that will automatically create a printer and set it as the default printer when they log in. So I have the script but I'll show you here in a second. But first we're gonna do is we're gonna manually add the printer so we can make sure we get the right printer and all the settings. So we're gonna find it in the directory and this is room 201. There's the printer I want to install. Double click it and hit finish. Now here's the printer that's installed. And if we take a look at the properties, we see some things that we need to utilize. Okay, the printer, the share name is 201-HPLJ, and this is on server 01. So if I were to do the UNC path, it would be server 01. You can actually see my path there already. And you can see the actual printer, it's shared. 201-HPLJ, so that is gonna be the path. And as you can see here, I have a printer VBS file, and this is set to automatically run a VB script. And I'll make this available for you guys later. So what I want to do is set the printer path to the UNC path. Um, you can use the NetBIOS name or you can use the fully qualified DNS name. So server 01 dot um, advanced net dot PRV slash 201 HP laser J and that is the name of the share. And then it wants the actual print driver to use. Now this name is very important in quotes. It has to be exact. So where I got this information from is if I switch over to my server, I'll show you my domain controller. And in my domain controller, I search for the ntprintinf file. Let me minimize all these other windows here. The uh, ntprintinf file has a list of all the different HP printers that exist. So it has to be the exact name as it shows up in here. Now unfortunately, this ntprintinf file does not contain the print driver that we installed because it's a different print driver. So we have to look at that print driver and that. So these are just the ones that come default with the Windows 2003 installation. So if I go and explore to the print drivers that we downloaded and installed on the C drive under HP, and there should be an INF file here. Let's see if I can open this up. And if I scroll through here, here is the exact name of the print driver. It's in quotes. So that is what you have to use. But of course, this print driver has to be installed on your server, which this downloaded print driver I did install on here. So this is on my server. So that is the name, and that is obviously also the name, if I go back to my workstation. Whoops. If I go back to my XP workstation, that is the name that shows up in uh, advanced for the driver. Capital letters are important. So will this always match up? I don't know, probably. But just to make sure, find that INF file that has the print driver name in it exact, okay? So we close this down and we again double check that down here, the network path set default is going to be advanced net.prv. Make sure this is the same as what's up here. Capital letters are important. So now we're gonna save this And I'm gonna save this somewhere on the server to where we can get to it. So under my documents or on the H drive, we'll put it in Steve Brogan's files and we'll call it printer VBS. So Steve Brogan's H drive, this will be saved up on the server. So now I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna switch over to my domain controller. And I'm gonna find that print driver or the print VB script on my server 01 users 
and we were logged in as yeah we'll just go users Oops. how come I can't see Oh, it's file server, not server 01, that's why. File server, users, and let's go to Steve Brogan, and there's the printer VBS. So I'm gonna copy this to my desktop here. I already had one there, I'm gonna modify it. Okay, so now that we have the VBS file on my server, now we're gonna go to Active Directory, users, computers, go to the Fenimore OU, and go to properties, group policy and we're going to create a new so I'm going to delete this one I'm going to create a new group policy called printers and edit that close that other editor I had open go to user config and scripts I'm going to add another script I'm going to hit show files and I'm going to drag this printer VBS file into this long location for users login scripts and then I have to add that now it's going to take me to the exact same location the printer VBS and hit OK and now when a user logs in this that script should run and instantly add that printer as a default printer and let's give it a shot to close this down close Change over to the workstation. Sorry, what? Yeah, it's exactly it. So you could probably, if you wanted to, put it into that same login script for the T drive, but that would apply to everybody. Where this way you can add a specific login script per OU based on the computers and which rooms are located in based on what default printer they should get. Because you can create a different script for each group, right? So now let me log off as Steve, and let me log in as a new user. And we'll log in as... Give me another user, guys. Sunny. Real, like that? We'll log in, and this user should have, it'll take a little while here, but it should have a default printer installed, and it should be pointing to the Server01 Advanced Net PRV, and have the right driver. And the first time they log in takes a little while, set up all their profile info. Yeah, first time Sunny's logged in. And let's go take a look at settings, printers. Yay, we have the printer. Our properties, and we now have a default printer installed. And if you, as you can see before, the old printer was just server 01. So you know that this is the VB script that has done this, and this is server 01.advancenet.prv. Because the one that we manually installed using uh, Steve's login, that we just browsed and it was shared on server 01. It didn't have the fully qualified domain name. So this proves that this is a printer that was installed through that script. And we're done.